instinctual life isn't about any one thing. We'll lose our focus. Mm -hmm. if, if, we, if we zero in on something, then we, we've lost some of our power because now we're fighting that one thing mm -hmm. when really it's not about any one thing. It's about keeping instinctual enough to be able to say, yes, this is good for me right in this moment, or it's not. Mm -hmm. And if it's not, you know, it's just not. We don't have to even have a bunch of uh, stats or facts, or we don't have to wait for them to show up, you know, for us to find out that, that a billion years of wisdom plus our extra year, however we're living, is saying, no. So it, it could even be touching me, you know, like in a prenatal. My habit is always, you know, may I touch you? If I'm going to do something, you know, with the mother, mm -hmm. may I touch you? And in Mexico, they, they had never been asked that. Not to say that they have in America. But, so I'm, I'm actually talking about story. This is my story. May I touch you? And then when I would teach that to students, they would ask the question, but then they wouldn't wait. You know, it's a question. Without an answer. <laughs> may I touch you? Then you have to wait. No, the mother say yes or no, and she might say yes or no with her body. You know, her body, maybe she's a, of a culture that's supposed to always say yes. You, mm -hmm. you ask, so I have to say yes. But maybe her body's not saying yes at all. So it's not really about technology even, or this or that. It has absolutely nothing to do with a this or that. But, but the instinct would tell us if something is serving us or it isn't. Mm -hmm. If our instinct is good and strong. So for example, there's nothing about our instinct really, our, our primal instinct, that would tell us that we feel good and comfortable if someone ties us down and does something to us. You know, there's just nothing, we don't have any biology or, or our spiritual nature or our intellectual nature, there's just no part of us that doesn't start tensing up and going, oh, I'm not looking forward to that, you know? And yet we we do it. I, I did it. My first baby, I was tied down, you know? My legs were strapped down, my arms were strapped down, and I remember pleading with the, you know, with the uh, physician who was a kind, you know, man, please don't, please don't tie me down. I promise to not move, you know, just, just don't tie me down. You know, so so the, our instincts, if someone's putting in a probe, what do they call these now? The new ultrasound, Probes, mm -hmm. um, vaginal ultrasound, or mm -hmm. whatever it's called. Um, we, we know when we ha have to kind of talk a woman through, hold her hand, wipe her brow, you know, talk her through, it's going to be okay, it's going to be okay. If she was left to her instinct, she'd be kicking and biting somebody. Mm -hmm. you know, like, mm -hmm. Don't do that. Um, so it's not really so much about uh, addressing any one particular technological thing, whether it's a blood pressure check or this or that. It's that is it interrupting our instinctual flow?